Hey guys, Calamity here with a guide for farming crystal cores. And before we start, just want to point out if you have Sayu with her passive talent, you can see on the left that she will not startle the first crystal fly that you capture. As long as she's in your party, that means she doesn't have to be the active character. She just needs to be in your party. Uh, Kazuha is also another character that helps with collecting crystal flies because he can basically just jump mid-air when they start to float away. Um, you do not um, want to use this too close to the crystal flies because you will actually despawn them instead. That being said, uh, if you don't have these two, don't worry. Uh, just pick a tall character like Zhongli or even Kea and just follow along. So the first area I'm going to take you guys to is Windrise. Right here on the map, this is the big tree. Or Venti hangs out and I picked this area first because this is in Mondstadt uh, obviously this is going to be accessible to a lot of new players um, it might not be the best spot but it is a spot uh, this is also a lazy farming guide which means two things the first thing meaning that no enemy encounters on the way to the crystal core flies and the second thing is that they're usually within walking distance of a teleport point I want to do this with as minimal effort as possible. So that being said, when you get over here, the crystal core flies here, or the animal crystal flies, uh, are spawning around the tree. I usually like to just go around on the right side and then just circle around. And you'll see there's some right here, and there should be one more, but I think it flew away. Uh, if it is raining in an area that I go to when you or when you go to one of these areas that I showcase here, uh, mm. keep in mind that the crystal flies will not spawn. You need to either wait or like move to a different area and kind of like wait for time to pass by so that the weather changes and come back later. Uh, the other tip that I want to give you is that you should be aware that if you do mess up for whatever reason and all the crystal core flies like fly away and you barely got like one or two, you can always reset the area, meaning like just leave the area, like go somewhere far away, like just TP somewhere far away and then like come back and all of the crystal core flies will reset. Uh, just something to keep in mind. The next place I want to bring you to is this uh, statue of the seven anima waypoint here. It's right. It's to the uh, right of the, the Dawn winery or east of it. And when you get here, it's going to be two flies or crystal flies and right next to the, the TP point and then we can use Kazuha there to get that third one if you don't have them no big deal and move on over to the left you'll see crystal fly right next to this bush and I guess some berries if you want uh I don't usually do this unless I need like a big amount of crystal flies but if you are like really really low um what you could do is just do a lap around the winery. Like, seriously, just go around the winery and look in between the little... What do you call these? Like, the, cool. the crops. And there are crystal core flies just chilling in between. And again, you can do this at any time. These spawn uh, once a day. So you can farm this daily if you're really in need. And you might be wondering, okay, like, you only use, like, five condensed resin per day usually, right? Why would I need to farm more than five a day to sustain myself? Well, with Sumeru coming out uh, in a couple days at the time of making this video, I mean, you might want to go hard on farming those Dendro artifacts and maybe those Dendro boss materials. So you might be... Uh, saving up on your fragile resin to, to go hard when Sumeru comes out, and you're gonna need a lot of crystal flies to do that. Now, of course, Sumeru could also have its own spawns of dendro crystal fly thingies. Um, that, that would be great. It means even more, you know, crystal cores each day. So that's gonna wrap it up for the Dawn Winery. We just kind of went in a circle. There's obviously more, uh, around if you want to, like, take your time and actually look around. I just did a quick lap just to show you that there are uh, flies just chilling around. The next spot I'm going to take you to is the uh, stone forest here. If you don't have Liu unlocked, uh, well, 
those two options before should provide plenty of crystal cores until then. And right off the bat, there are three uh, crystal cores right behind you. Again, if you mess this up, you can just reload the area and they'll be back. You can either log out, log back in, or just go somewhere else for a bit and then TP back. There's two on your way up. So I forgot to mention you should go out of the, the cave that you spawn in. So you're facing the west. There's like a gigantic hole. And you're going to curve around to your left as soon as you exit. And you're going to go uphill like this. Again, lazy route means no enemies and the crystal flies are genuine. Like, they're generally like near the sick point of your uh, TP point. You cool. Um, and when you get up here, you're gonna see like a hole, and there should be a bunch of crystal flies. Uh, okay, I got that one. And when you like look down when you're dropping down, because there's gonna be crystal flies kind of just spread out all over the place. Now that right there is like more than enough to sustain you for your daily needs of, of crystal cores. Um. There's also a couple more spots I want to uh, share with you uh, before we wrap up this little short guide. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I accidentally killed the uh, crystal fly there. Uh, that's why you don't want to use Kazuo's skill too close to a crystal fly. You'll accidentally despawn them. Not a big deal, though. Um, so if you have Inazuma unlocked this next area, these next two areas are pretty, pretty good. Um, it's a... Uh, when you teleport right outside of Inazuma City, it's the one next to the fishing NPC. Um, and I forgot what this NPC is. The designer NPC? Um, it's the TP point right next to those two. When you get here, in the Biako plane, you're going to turn around. Isa. I actually used this spot for the Whopper Flower guide I made a while, a while back. If you turn back, there are three Electro Crystal Flies. Right there, and if you do need to farm Whopper flowers, these three mints right here, you see how they don't, you can't actually pick them up. Instead, they have like this dialogue or cloud bubble. If you actually tap F, they will spawn three crystal, or uh, sorry, they'll spawn three Whopper flowers. So, if you need to farm Whopper flower nectar, also a good spot. Again, this is a daily thing you can do. The next place I'm going to show you is on, um, uh, Sarai Island, and it's the one on the top right, right next to uh, Fort Harumi, or Harumi, I don't know how to say that properly. Are you going to teleport here? And when you turn around again, there's going to be three more crystal flies right behind you, right next to the teleport point. Alright, and this is kind of like an added bonus, but if you do, do need to farm some arm guards, there are three samurai right here to your left. If you're facing uh, north, it's to your left, there's three there. And then on the opposite side of that, there are even more samurai and treasure hoarders as well. If you need to farm insignias, there's also a big samurai guy that patrols the coast over there. So, nice little mini spot to farm if you need to. And I do have one last spot for you today if you really, really want those crystal core flies. And it's going to be in Enkanoimiya. Now, this is a late game area, so if you're brand new to the game or just, you know, only have like a couple hours in, you won't see this place for quite a while. Um, but if you do have this place unlocked and you've been playing for a while, maybe you don't know about this. But, uh, I forgot to mention, you're going to teleport to the Dainchi Mikoshi. This is where that... Uh, the dual bishop bosses, but you're going to teleport to the point uh, on the east side of this uh, center island, and you're going to keep floating here, or gliding, sorry, floating towards these uh, water statues, and you're going to see there is a crystal core fly uh, next to each of them. So there's one there. We've got two already. There's the third one. And there's a fourth one right there. Usually that one flies away. Uh, you can just use Kazuha again to, to grab that one there. If you don't have them, again, don't feel too bad if you only got like three out of the four. That's good enough. Or even two. Again, just reset the area. 
So this route alone probably just netted you like, what, 15 to 20-ish crystal core flies? Uh, more or less, and definitely could have gone more if I would have like, like, slowly taken my time with places like the Dawn Winery. Now obviously this isn't like the end all be all of all uh, crystal cores, there are plenty plenty more in the world out there. I know a very popular spot is to go here. Um, however, this place does not fit the uh, lazy requirement, so that's why I didn't add it. But I will mention it, just just so that someone in the comments doesn't be like, Hey, you forgot to mention one of the best spots. Uh, if you teleport to right outside Liu, not in the city itself, but the TP that's next to or across from Mount uh, Tian Heng. Sorry again if I mess that up. Um, if you go here and you go north, you cool. First of all, this is also a good spot because the uh, there's a lot of crystal ore and the uh, the blue ones as well that you need to use resin. Which are good to farm here. You can use your Zhongli to uh, mine both sides, but I'm just gonna save you time here. There is a group of hill turtles blocking the entrance. This is why I didn't include it. You can also just run by them too if you don't want to mess with that. And so you're gonna climb behind them. You see where these two torches were? You're gonna climb up behind where they were guarding. Because they were guarding this beautiful little cave with a bunch of crystal flies. Huh? There is a bunch in here. There's also some Noctilus Jades. You guys have still have that battle music going because I just ran from the enemies. But there's some Jades here if you're trying to grind up uh, characters like Beto or whatever. Nice to know. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up uh, for the Crystal Core Lazy Farming Guide. Uh, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.